Hey guys, we are back in the shop today building a bench to go with our DIY X base dining table. Lucky for us, it's 40 degrees outside, which we didn't plan for, but I think we can make it. I think so. Once we get going and get warmed up, you're going to be fine. Actually, I think I have a better idea. Nope, still too cold. Let's get inside. Good idea. build the top of this bench first and work our way down, but upside down. What would you call that? Like if we're starting at the top, but we're working our way down, but it's going to be upside down also. Backwards, flipped. You can do this. That's what we're doing. So we're going to build the top of the bench first. I've already cut all of these planks to size. You can download the free plans in the link below. And I've also gone and ripped these two by sixes down to four inches wide each. So. Um, the great news is, Ash, this thing only takes six two by sixes. So how much does that cost? Roughly. Six two by sixes, six times six is 36, about $45. Yeah, uh, it was, that's about what our, what our spend was for lumber. So that's exciting. So we are adding two and a half inch, we are adding two and a half inch pocket holes down and we'll start on that side. And let's use a face clamp for this part too. What do you think? Yep. Okay, so these face clamps, we talk about these all the time. We get lots of questions asking us, how do you get your tabletop planks so smooth? Do you use a joiner? Do you use a planer? We don't use any of that. We use these $39 face clamps. They work amazing. You and just... I can add a link too. Sorry, keep going. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> tell, tell him, tell him what I'm doing. That's great. So Whitney is just attaching it where she she's gonna clamp it down right where the pocket holes are, and we're just gonna work our way down, clamping at each pocket hole. And we will add a link to this. You can get them on Amazon. So I've gotten my first one done, and I'm just gonna pull it off the table just a bit. Normally we'd be on sawhorses or even on a table base if we've already built it, but we're gonna use the old dining table today, guys. Multi-purpose. Well, now I'm like, gosh, like I'm gonna probably do this more Multi -function. often. Multi-function. Like in the summer when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is life-changing. Okay, so, well, I'm not really doing anything different. I'm now attaching the other two planks to each other. Let's get ready to rumble! Put as much weight you little, maybe we should get Jeffrey to stand up there. <laughs> That's <laughs> rude. <laughs> I'm, I was just simply saying he's a lot more muscular than you are. <laughs> okay, so we've got all four planks done. Now we are going to add the breadboards, but we're gonna measure and cut for these so we can get the exact match. Okay, so what I'm doing here, these are also cut to four inches. So I'm holding the breadboard. One side's already been squared off on my uh, miter saw. And I'm holding it right here and marking exactly where it needs to be cut. And I'm gonna take it out to the cold garage and cut it really fast. That's for your side. They should technically be the exact same. I was about same. to say they should they be. They should be, but I don't trust myself. Stand by. Stand by for cut. Okay, right, right, so right, I'm gonna use, right, right, um, right, right, all right, so I'm gonna use, right, right, wait for Ashley to quit singing. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, <laughs> it's a habit. I am going to use my face clamp to get this lined up, and you're not gonna use wood glue on this part. Just get it lined up with your face clamp. We usually do not use wood glue on our planked tabletops because the glue will not allow the wood to swell and shrink so it's going to cause cracks if that glue is keeping them from shrinking and expanding. I think that's why we don't actually have problems with it other than just living in Texas. Yeah. Okay. Let's move our tools, Ashley, and turn the table straight. Okay, Ashley, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So this is the frame that's gonna, these are gonna be the top of the legs. So rather than building the legs, I'm gonna do it kind of backwards. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna attach this to the table with glue, and then we're gonna pocket hole this, these together, and then pocket hole these, and then we'll put those in okay. as well. So I need to we'll build the legs off of that. Where to put those? I think if we just do it off of the center one, because I've marked center here and here, then we can just work our way out and it'll be ready to go. But does it matter like? Well, yeah, we want it to be centered. Yeah. Yes, that, that's so, a good idea. So I need yeah, to mark yeah, it. Yeah, mark it. Maybe just mark it. <laughs> Let's just mark it. I have an idea. What? 
Let's, Let's mark, mark it. it. <laughs> We're fine. Everybody's fine. Okay, so I'm going to, well, Ashley's marking it. Um, <laughs> fabulous idea, I, I must say. I wish I would have had that idea myself. Um, I am using my quick flip, and I'm going to put um, pilot holes into these three boards, and then we will flip it around. I love this tool. We'll um, link to it at the bottom. I think it's really inexpensive too, right? Do, do you remember the price of it? It's like, like it's under 20, 20 bucks. Yeah, I think it's that's 19, what I was thinking. maybe. But it allows you to use those pocket holes, but counterbore them so that once you put them into the table, you will not see them. So it's pretty pretty handy feature. So Ash has marked to this. I'm going to just pull these off center. And I'm adding wood glue before I counterbore. I'm just going to, I need my glue bot. Oh, this is sorry. a spare board, so ignore the, rogue, <coughs> ignore the rogue pocket hole, because I saved that board. So do you need to mark that? Mark what? Which left and right? What do you mean? To make sure it's centered this I probably way. should do that as well. That's probably, that's probably good a thing good idea. Yeah. I know. It, I know they're an inch off on each side. <laughs> so if I do one inch. Yes, there you go. Does this have I was a actually, I was, what? Does this have a turntable on it? It does. <laughs> Actually, it does, and it's is a, it part also of the a rocket. rocket. It's a rocket. <laughs> Later on, I'll show you all how that works, okay? And by the way, check out our rocket build video. You can click it right here. <laughs> Guys, it's the coolest rocket I've ever built. DIY rocket. <laughs> so you can see right here, what it's done is it's given me two holes to attach my pocket hole screws. I'm just using my square bit to get it in place. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's good to keep it Such attached good to bit. the drill. <laughs> One more. Oh my gosh. Try. How about guys, don't do it like this. All right. You gotta be. You gotta be kidding. Okay. 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 So now what we're doing? I've got this one done. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait to attach the second two, and I'm gonna do these parts now. Gonna. I've said gonna, gonna. Like four times. I'm gonna do this. It's all right. Me. I'm gonna try saying that Born again. Born and raised. In English. Okay. So I've attached the top of this leg, and now I'm going to do the support. And you have one on each side. These are ripped down to two and a half inches wide each. You're actually gonna have four of these, because we're gonna have two on the bottom and two on the top. These are our top ones. And Ashley was so kind to mark center for me. Look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is, and I'll let Ash do that side, you're going to attach this one to that using your precisely marked points. And we're using those same two and a half inch pocket hole screws through this board and into the top of that leg. Wood glue? Definitely, definitely use definitely. wood glue. So while she's attaching that, I'm also going to go and add, and I probably should have done this, not really, but I'm going to add two on this board too, and that'll just help hold that support to the top of our bench. So I am going to go ahead and attach this down before I do my last support, or my second leg. One there, one here. Cool, and now I can attach the top of that second leg right to that frame. And I'll do that with wood glue and pocket hole screws. So yeah, and with this, I actually, because this is such a long bench, um, I went ahead and made it three legs instead of two. And I also made sure with our breadboards to make the supports of the legs go all the way almost to the end to support that breadboard. That way you can put as many high knees on there as you can fit, baby. Depending on size. Yeah, fair, fair enough. So let me show you the magic of the quick flip. Just pull it out, flip it. Now I've got my driver bit, and just like that, two tools in one. Where's, there's nowhere, <laughs> they're all full. <laughs> so smart. And we need to add them to that one too. Easy if you've got the quick flip. <laughs> and with these, I try to put them like here because the leg, that way they're not in the way. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> with one flipperoo. All right, Wit, now it's time to add the legs. 
So Whitney copied my design <laughs> on this table and I feel really special and professional. I, I, I inspired her. So Whitney has already ripped these legs down to the same four inches wide. She also cut 10 degrees off of each end and that is marked in the cut list. She also drilled one and a half inch pocket holes at one end and to do that, you just put it in the exact same way you do if it's a square board on the bottom. So. Shanny tip, if you don't want to build your bench, you call your sister, tell her to come over and shoot a video, and then you play on your phone. I just posted it to story, so I'm technically working. But then I'm filling like, a glue bot. Is that exciting? And not have and I not have a camera in my yeah. face. <laughs> Do you like that? So hard. The paparazzi is just out there all the time. Get out of my bushes. <laughs> Hey, we got a glue bot! Yay! Hey. Okay, so we just attached our legs, all six legs, and now what we're gonna do is add the support to all three, and then we'll add our other two runners, and we are done. I this like the is. sound of that. I know, isn't it cute too? Wait Love to it. see it all done. Oh, Ash, this is where it's gonna get tricky because tricky, 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 tricky. Two inches. There you go. Two inches. Done and done. We're marking it. Okay, let me get this first one attached. So we're lining these up two inches, apparently. <laughs> I don't think that's what my plan called for. Jeffrey said to. But it's what we're doing, according to Jeffrey's <laughs> the camera Jeffrey's handbook. Device. <laughs> Good thing we've got him here today. <laughs> How would we build this bench without him? Okay. <laughs> and we're attaching these with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Did I steal your drill? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cute. I love how this turned out. So cute. I love the lines on it. It's gonna be so cute with that dining table. And it looks like it was difficult to build, but it's actually so easy. A beginner could do it and under $50. I definitely think this is a beginner project. Yeah. For sure. And I think it'd be great with the dining table, but also really cute in the entryway or something else. So I sanded the bench really good and then gave it one coat of stain. I also finished it with a poly on top of that, and I love how it turned out. You know, this is supposed to be for a friend, but I like it so much, I might just steal it myself and put it in my entryway. So y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video. You do not want to miss us build anything else on top of a dining table. Happy building on your dining table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys. No, hey guys. Hey guys. Right. I'm not a right. Get right. your snug on. I'm not a <laughs> I'm like, Get the snuggie on. Shall I put the hood on? Yes. Okay. Now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay. That was so good, Ashley. <laughs> all right. All better now. No, I'm so saying too cold. Sorry. <laughs> Ashley. 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 Her name's Ashley. I need the glue. We're burning daylight. We really are, but I have no, that's, a pro, that's the problem. I don't have any glue other than what I just poured in this stuck thing. Just get a knife and dig it out. That's what I'm doing. That's what I work with. Whitney has already ripped these legs down to the same four inches wide, and she also cut a 10 inch. No, 10 eight. degree, sorry. I was like, why is the word not coming to me? <laughs> 10 inch Sound what? <laughs> She's gonna be able to put a lot of kids on this table. I mean, on this bench. <laughs> no, Jeff. Jeffrey, that's why you stay behind the camera and we stay behind the tools. <laughs> I still don't know what you were trying to tell us, <laughs> But I also didn't really listen. <laughs> He's like, I really want to build so bad. <laughs> I'm like be on their sections. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane, buddy. Stay in your lane. <laughs> okay, Whitney, you're on camera. You're welcome. This is so bad. <laughs> Let's do it again. I don't know what to say next. You're pa on candid camera. Pause for puppy dog. There's our guy. Aww. He's our big guy. Aww. He literally. All right. Sanded I... it down. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, stop it. Less Ashley, more Whitney. All right.